I was sitting at the microscope one day and and I was asking her questions and it was getting late and uh, she said, well, of course you got to go soon, don't you? And I said, yeah, yeah, I've uh, I've got to go. Uh, I told her I have to go chase after this girl. And she said, Alex, when you want to stay and sit on a Saturday night and look at the organisms, just as much, if not more. She held up her finger like that. Then you want to chase pretty girls. <laughs> then you'll be a scientist. <laughs> and that line stuck with me. She's absolutely right. It, it was the passion that she had for her work was, was what she wanted to be doing on a Saturday night. And she was, she was in the lab and that was what she truly enjoyed and it showed through in all her work. Beth, come and take a look at Celia. Beth? Yes. Forget the phone calls. Look at in the embedded. See the little dots embedded in this yeah. red stuff? Well, that's the mouth cilia. Those are not cilia. Those are membranelles. They're rows of 20,000 cilia. Because this is a really, I mean, this is like a millimeter size organism. Ever seen the, aren't those wild? Wow. I've never seen it. Just take a look at it. You can definitely see the oral ciliated bands and the heart. Isn't that great? Here's a spore of an organism called Minocatella, and even Doug hasn't seen this one. There's the spore germinating in the soil. It's a little bit of time lapse here. And out comes an amoeba. Now the amoebae start feeding. This is the Japanese footage that couldn't be shown, as I was saying. It's too intellectual for our television audience. And so it starts feeding here. And they start dividing and feeding and dividing and feeding, essentially feeding on bacteria until they deplete the bacteria. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. It's a different world. This is really it's inner space. World. Yeah. It's the protist world. Yeah. And there's now that's the same organism. Those are the same organisms. Each of those is the amoeba. You just one of the amoeba you just saw, and they start spreading, aggregating toward, toward an aggregation center. They form this sort of slug stage. I'm sure it's reminiscent of organisms you've seen before. But this is Minakatella, studied in the sacred forests of Japan by Minaka, who in 1920s went to England and decided the English had taken the life out of biology, and he went home. And he and it made quite a statement on this on this film. Uh, that is in his writings, because he's dead. But his, anyway, so these are now the amoebae that didn't get into the pack, and these are the ones who indeed wow. went multicellular. And so you have this, this uh, amoeboid mass and it's dryness that induces the upright development. And so that's, if you cut through it, it's all packed amoeba. There's no hyphae or anything like that. It's all packed amoeba. Now people you could really tell that that was what you wanted to be doing.